allora possiamo dire... Allora ragazzi, allora ragazzi, siamo in shopping, nessuno deve filare masse e bene, stop. Ah sì, ieri mi hanno ammazzato il virus. Col cazzo che faccio un po' con i vestiti. Sì. Dai da loro e lo rifatti perché non è giusto che ti lascio sulla tua figli, siamo tutti in shop, siamo tutti al teatro. Ma io i maxi non li attacco. Ma a me non mi piace il coglioni. Cioè, allora mi piace il coglione. Ma perché non è giusto che loro facciano lì. Io penso quello che da qui là da buttare giù, quello sì. Però se fanno così inizio la catena e eh, lo fa si fotta lo sciopero. Allora dai non c'è il lato, boh, lui è coglione. Da che lato è un coglione, lascio stare. Ma guarda che perché io l'ho chillato in marzo, scusami. Ma perché non l'hai chillato in marzo? Tina, Tina, apri quel link che trovo sotto il testo, apri quel link che trovo sotto il testo. Ma che stiamo andando? Oh, ma che stiamo andando? 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 Ma che e no, mi dici da non fare la con di GTA Tu apri il link Ma questo già Io no, ti amo, ti amo Guarda qua oh, eh, eh. Ma, ma chi è qua ragazzi? Quello che mi viene a buttare le ciambe Uh, 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 Dankeschön. Ich expect Alex. Warum ich habe ich das Hey, da Ninja. Ah. Disco! Oh my god, you turned into a bat while oh, I was standing in my disco. Why are you back? Oh, God. I need shit. Why are you back? Oh, my God. It doesn't... can't see it, really. Oh, shadowed out. You fucking jerk. Last time I gave you the disco.
he was included in a show of landscapes by 22 artists. In 1943, he was invited to exhibit with a new group for their fifth anniversary show. And in July 1947, he was given a solo show, and all of these were at the Gainsborough Galleries in Johannesburg. Yellow houses with its intense use of color, its quickly sketched figures and nervous lines, in a sense, and he commented later, quote, all of these various types of people, women with baskets of shopping, some carrying baggage on their heads or shoulders, men of various styles of walking and clothing. There were also many children of varied appearance and attire and expression. The characters and scenes that Makoto depicted included street sellers with their donkey carts, residents of men's hostels and their bunks, men shopping, I'm sorry, women shopping, colorfully printed dresses, or washing clothes in courtyards, morning commuters on trains and bicycles, and prisoners on parade. He also sketched portraits of his family and friends at home, and of the private lives of the literate black Christian petty bourgeoisie, that is, the incipient cosmopolitan black middle class in urban South Africa. These were scenes of black life in the city that were unfamiliar to the majority of white South Africans, whose image of the black townships was uh, as a place of decadence, overcrowding, and unsanitary conditions. And Sokoto painted these places in a positive light, with an angle of vision that was usually at eye level or from the back, but never invasive. The city of Johannesburg was only 50 years old when Sokoto himself arrived there, having been built from the ground as a mining town after the Goodwater Bond Gold Rush of 1880, sign of itself. Novel persons and environments start off as representations with more surface than depth, and the process of making sense of them tends to unfold the strange into the patterns of the familiar, that is, into picturesque types. Though he initially viewed the city through the eyes of a visitor, Sokoto's sense of remove was also filled with curiosity, and he was a keen observer of the surfaces of everyday life. The images he selected for depiction were part of his personal exploration of the novelty of urban life. They were also experiments with modern styles. That said, for the white middle-class patrons, critics, collectors, and artists who constituted his main audience in South Africa, he was seen as a talented but primitive Bantu artist who represented the everyday life of the town in a manner a major art institution in South Africa. Sokoto left for Paris in 1947, a year before the election, but brought the Afrikaner nationalist government to power. He never returned to South Africa, and he died in France in 1993. Nevertheless, Sakota was remembered as the father of black modernism in South Africa, and he remained a role model for future generations of black artists. Yellow Houses and other works by Sakoto from the 1940s are hybrid objects on several levels. They were vehicles for the artist's self-exploration in the urban life of the modern colonial world. They were a means to share in the middle class world and the worldliness of white South Africa. They were a method for representing the experience of black people in the city in a positive light, both for themselves and for his white patrons. And they represented the stirrings of a modernist art that would hold the kernel of a crisis that was exceptional for a black person of this kind. Within the circumscribed social world of progressive artists in South Africa,